feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into um, tea room. Corey girlfriend sends message to Carmen. Corey cop faking cash up giveaways. Previously, I reported that there appears to be some issues going on between Armand and Trey. Now, it all started yesterday when Trey started responding back to people that were stating that he was jealous of Armand. Then next thing you know, Armand and Trey unfollow each other on Twitter. Then Trey went on to post, I don't know what more y'all want me to do other than post and share to show my support. What y'all want me to do? Put team money in my bio too? Post every second? I'm not a stand account. That's family. Get over it. Y'all on the outside looking in. Then Armand goes on to post, jealousy is when you count in somebody else's blessings instead of your own. Tighten up. Trey states, mm -hmm. MFs don't be having ish you want, but swear you jealous or in competition with them. Mm -hmm. MF are gonna have to show me what I ever did to try to compete with them or show signs of jealousy. They wouldn't even be able to tell you. MFs get on social media oh, and say anything me. for sympathy. So now hopefully whatever is going on between Armand and Trey is- Wait a minute. You know what? I don't even care. Is quickly <laughs> resolved. I mean, they are family oh, no, and they do lie. make good music together. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey because he recently popped out with his new girlfriend, Danny. So people were shocked to see them dressed alike and kissing on social media. And Danny responded to a comment that stated, he finna make sure he run her business to the grave. She got too much going on for him and one wrong move, he gonna try to take her and everything she got down. Danny responds with, can't nobody run my business to the grave because I got my money in too much and I'm not the face of all of my businesses either. So how can something be ran down to the ground that y'all don't know I actually own? Yeah. Oh, okay. And people also felt like she was shading Carmen because she reposted something on Instagram that someone posted that stated like she not shitting on Carmen. Well, Miss Danny released a full statement because she was tired of all the negativity she was getting after posting up with Corey. So then she goes on to say, one thing I hate is negativity, but let me just enlighten y'all on who the F I am. I clearly don't give a F about what the next person say because I literally be laughing at y'all for real, for real. Secondly, a MF -a ain't never put their hands on me. And if they do, I guarantee you that we won't be going live. We'll both be in the cell together. Thirdly, whatever the F we go through, it won't hit the media because I don't need validation or clout from the media. And I don't need a sad story to run my views up. To get paid because I'm paid in real life without the media. Fourth, according to my businesses, B-Words have been hating on me my whole life and I stood on that shit 10 toes down. So let's just remember what she stated here that she won't be going to the media if anything occurs between her and Corey. But anyways, she probably won't, but Corey coming, Corey is coming. She also goes on to say, I went from 1 million to 14 million plus and invested that ish and none of my investments require the media. I can't lose the contracts. I own the contracts. My mental health facilities require the government, not the media. As a tax service bureau with 32 tax offices, the government cut my checks, not the media. My fleet of trucks are on government contracts, so they pay me, not the media. My farm is paid by the government as well, not the media. And my two franchises, Smoothie King and the Peach Cobbler Factory are paid through the companies, not the media. I make friends with the government, not the media. And the government ain't sitting on the media waiting for the next story. We sitting at tables buying businesses and franchises. So now you guys remember when I spoke on Maddie actually exposing that Corey fakes all those cash app giveaways? Uh -huh. It's called fake cash app. And you can act like you're sending money. Uh huh. Oh, she's just letting the house on. And you act like you're sending money to people, but it's. Uh huh. Y'all never heard of that? 
Now, I noticed that every time Corey would post these cash apps, he would cover half of the name because I did try to look them up to see if he was actually sending them money. Well, yesterday when he was on Facebook Live, he showed his screen and you can actually see the full name. So now, obviously, Corey didn't mean to do this. He kind of flash the phone at the camera. And of course you can screenshot and see who he was actually sending money to. Now, one of my supporters actually did look up who these people actually were on Cash App to see if Corey really sent them a thousand dollars. And as you can see here, both of these Cash Apps that Corey posted don't even exist in Cash App. So it appeared <laughs> Oh my God, this fucking tea room is a problem. <laughs> when did she? Damn, tea room. <sighs> Girl. Maddie clocked it. <laughs> Maddie clocked it. Maddie clocked that T right there, baby. Damn. There's, there may be some truth to what Maddie is stating about Corey faking those cash app giveaways. But let's move on to this next topic with Miss Kiana J. Now, girl, that is hilarious. She recently shared that she did get surgery and she showed off her post-surgery body after she had her BBL removed. And my super swollen sides. Um, yeah, swollen. Um, um, here's the back. I'm super swollen still, but he has taken me down a lot. But this is just two days post-op. Super good. Super swollen. Um, and I still have drinks and stuff, but this is like my natural size minus the pads and my super swollen size so we we, we know waiting on you to get so people also noticed that kiana got surgery done on her face as well and kiana stated that this was the worst pain that she's ever been through Okay, I'm going to just start doing videos, but yes, I have this thing on my face. And I noticed when a lot of girls get surgery, they have these things on their face, and I thought it was just part of the BBL, like maybe your face gets swollen or anything. But um, a lot of girls have this on their face after surgery because they choose to get chin lipo, which I got. I got chin lipo and jawline lipo. If y'all want to see my before, I will definitely show y'all. I hate it, how it looked on my side profile, but excuse my nails, y'all. But um, the... Uh, chin thing with me is a genetic thing and it usually starts around l the late 20s in my family with women and it definitely hit me and it hit me hard and I didn't like it for a very long time I noticed it in my YouTube videos I was like oh my god this is happening to me <laughs> but it's a genetic thing and I really want it to go away so I asked the doctor if he could um, bring my jawline back to how it was when I was in my early 20s and he did that so that's why I have this thing on um, I didn't talk about getting this because I didn't think you guys would care. Um, but I know a lot of y'all is asking me about chin lipo. I know a lot of women is, uh, deals with the whole chin thing, double chin thing. But if you guys want me to talk about it, I will. Um, and yeah, that's why I have this thing on my face. I didn't think you guys would notice or care. But yeah, I really don't understand this question. What you're going to do when you have kids body-wise? Um... Uh, I don't think having kids have anything to do with <laughs> me reducing my butt and my hips. Um, well, I guess you're asking me what am I going to do after I have kids. Um, Basically, she asking, are you going to get a BBL again? Or a tummy tuck? Or I don't know. Usually girls that get surgery, when they have a kid, they bounce back immediately. If you have like, if you had lipo in the past. Um, if I don't bounce back, I'll just work out or wear a, a waist trainer. But if I had kids, I definitely wouldn't, would not get my body done again. Um, I'm just mom bodied out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So let me tell y'all, 
this was like the worst one ever. Um, waking up wise, I woke up screaming at the top of my lungs. I woke up, I guess I didn't realize that I just had surgery. I woke up trying to jump out the bed and run out the hospital. Like it was a fucking nightmare. It was the worst pain of my fucking life when I woke up. All my other surgeries, I woke up just sore. Like I just worked out. This surgery, I felt like somebody was literally trying to kill me. Dang. Like, it was the worst pain of my life right now. I'm good. I'm fine. But waking up, bitch, man. Oh, my God. I'm such a hypochondriac. I just can't handle certain shit. So I'm not getting none of that unless I genuinely have to. But the goal now... I'm just about to lose. And I know a lot of y'all think I'm big because I got big boobs. But baby, you take these boobs off, I'm going to be a nigga with a gut. <laughs> Literally. My arms is not fat at all. My um, legs barely got those. Honey sauce go top. It barely got them. But um, yeah, the boobs, boobs will make you look like you are 400 pounds. Um, so I got to get them down. I have to do a lot of chess. I think I'm going to get some bigger, uh, what you call it. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.